Muslims or Arabs. This is the, the first class American issue. And that's why you see a mix of people here from uh, resembling uh, the small mosaic of uh, the American color of race, uh, faith, and, and race, saying yes to diversity, yeah. no to the division, yes to harmony, no to uh, any act of hate coming from any. Well, they are fellow Americans. Uh, we respect uh, their position. Definitely, we disagree. That's why we are on the two other side. However, as long as uh, the debate is respectful, that is America. That's the future of America. That we are across of each other, and we both feel passionate about our uh, position. Uh, we definitely uh, feel strong that uh, standing on behalf of the rich American diversity is the right side, and that's why we are at this side. Involved in spousal abuse or so-called honor killings or terrorism activity, which of course the broad majority of Muslims have nothing to do with that, just like the broad majority of white, Christ or white Christians have nothing to do with the Ku Klux Klan. So that's what they're upset about. They want to, to have Muslims seen in a particular frame of extremism, and that is not the reality of the community here in Metropolitan Detroit and Dearborn. <laughs> No, that's, that's, that's what they claim that this show is somehow propaganda, but if anyone knows Muslims are going to Dearborn, Michigan and spend any time, they would see that the five families are depicted are pretty much a sampling of what Dearborn, Michigan is about. Last question, Right. Yeah, well, the same people who are over here who are protesting us are the same people who are against collective um, bargaining, workers' rights, are the same people against immigration reform, are the same people who say negative things about Latinos and African Americans. They have a bigoted worldview. That we're shopping at Lowe's. So Lowe's made a calculated decision that they honor the business of bigots more than us. So they're not worthy of our dollars until they make amends. Uh, the people here are saying they're not shopping at Lowe's. I'm not shopping at Lowe's. Everyone has their freedom to shop where they want to shop, but we right here, we're not shopping at Lowe's. We want to have Imam to lead us in, in a few words of prayer. Yeah. yeah. And I would like for you to know as we open up, thank you, brother. Brother, uh, Brother Minister Williams for uh, inviting us out. I would like for you to know that we stand as Men's Christian Fellowship in solidarity with you. We are one for we are all God's children and God's people. And we find it hypocritical, hypocritical of Lowe's to pull out an ad for a peaceful show about family, which is which is as American as apple pie. The show is about family, and we find it hypocritical that you will pull out your ads for a show about family, but yet you will continue to advertise yeah. around programming that that's in, that involves uh, hatred, yeah. that involves murder, yeah. that involves all kinds and all forms of violence. That's hypocritical to do that. So we stand on the side of truth, we stand on the side of righteousness, we stand on the side of uh, 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 solidarity, on the side of unity, and on the side of love. Amen? So we're going to go to God in prayer, asking that He has victory here today, right? And that His love overwhelms this place. Let us go to God in prayer. God, we come to you in the spirit of humility yet boldness, beseeching Thee for your compassionate listening here. God, we ask that you bless this great gathering, for we understand that we are here because of your spirit, because of your love, Lord, because of your will, Lord. We ask right now, Lord, that you strengthen all of those brothers and sisters who are here, who have been victimized and harmed and hurt by this hatred, Lord. We recognize that it is indeed hatred that has done this. And we know that you are a God of love. And your word says that love conquers all and that love never fails. We understand that your son is the Prince of Peace, Lord. So we know that everything that's connected to you is full of love and full of peace, Lord. So because this, is, this creates discord and division amongst your body of believers, we know that this could not be of you, Lord. So we ask, Lord, that you first protect those who have been harmed by this bigotry, by this racism that is not of you, Lord. 
Secondly, Lord, we ask that you touch the heart of those that you change their mind right. because they may not understand oh, exactly right. how damaging and painful their behavior has been. Right. And Lord, we even ask that you touch these individuals across from us right. who yeah. may not believe as we do, but they do reserve the right to fight for what they think is right, although it's wrong, Lord. Right. So we ask that you put mercy in their hearts, that you put grace in their hearts, that you put understanding in their hearts, Lord. Oh, yeah. And we ask, Lord, that you touch this convening of great men and women of God, Lord. Yes. We ask that you make this a peaceful demonstration of oh, your yeah. love, yeah. Lord. And we ask that your unity is felt here. And Lord, we ask that this is so powerful that minds are changed and that behavior is changed, Lord. We believe that we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. And we believe, God, that you are the author and the finisher of our faith, Lord. Yes. So we ask right now, Lord, that you fix this, that you correct this, that you move in this body of great godly men and women, oh, yeah. and that your will be done here. Let us all say, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, in the name of our God, That's right. let us all say, Amen. 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 Now, I'm here to tell you today that just as the early Muslims were protected when they migrated out of Mecca to Ethiopia and were protected by African Christians, we have Christian friends here in Metropolitan Detroit who are willing to stand up for what's right. Who are willing to stand up against the truth. Against those people who would seek to marginalize minorities who want to hold on to their privilege within the status quo. That's right. Because that's yeah. really what this is about. That's right. Those people who are in the status quo of this society who would seek to marginalize minority communities. And we know exactly what it is, whether they admit it or not. That's right. So with that, we would like to have the opening chapter of the Quran, Al-Fatiha, and then we'll give the English translation. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. With God's name, the most gracious and most merciful, the praise and thanks belongs to God, the Lord of the worlds the most gracious, the most merciful, master of the day of judgment. Your aid alone do we seek God, and you alone do we worship. Guide us to the straight path, the path of those in whom which you have bestowed your grace, not of those who have earned your anger, nor go astray. Amen. Amen. We shall overcome someday.
national television. Yes. We're here Amen. today to say that we are all Americans. We are Muslim Americans, Christian Americans, with Jewish Americans, and all Americans have a right to life, liberty, and justice. We have a right to the pursuit of happiness. And so we stand today with the Muslim community to say that we believe in inclusion. We pay our taxes. We pay all that is required of us to be Americans. We were born Americans. And with that, we have a right to be able to, to progress just as any other American have the same right. Yep. Yeah. So we stand today with you, my brothers and sisters, to say that we are with you, that we support you. We support you as being Americans. We support you in your endeavors to try to be as much as you can be in this society. Support you too. My brothers and my sisters. It's not the time for that. I'm so happy that we're here today. Because us being here today, seeing the statement throughout this country that Christians, Muslims, Jews, Gentiles, Black, White, does not matter, we can stand and we can fight together. Some people don't understand why we fight. But I tell people all the time, I say, if I jumped off this ladder and I knocked you down, that's my fault. But if I come back next week and you still laying there, that's your fault. And so we decided that we're not going to lay there anymore. That we're standing up. And then we're tired of them trying to divide us. We're tired of them trying to tell us who we are. We are all God's children. No matter what your religion is. We all are American. We live here on this country. This country isn't a Christian nation. That's right. This country isn't a Muslim nation. That's right, I said it. This country is an American nation. That means you can be Buddhist, and that's all right. That means you can be Hindu, and that's all right. That means you can be Muslim, and that's all right. That means you can be, Muslim, that's right. That you can be Christian, and that's all right. That's right. That about my country, that's all right. God bless America. 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 Now I want to bring to the ladder. One who <laughs> brings the ladder. Boy from Home Depot. Our dear sister, <laughs> fighter for justice. She's fighting for justice. She fights for us in the state representative, in the state house. I want y'all to give a hand to state representative Rashida Tlaib. Come on. Yeah. Which is respect, dignity. It is disgusting that 
we would allow a 60-year-old corporation in the United States of America to promote hate by allowing the minority small voices. Look how small they are compared to because you're standing up for my children who are growing up Muslim in America. You're growing up for the many thousands and millions of children who never saw a woman wearing a hijab on national TV in a positive way, never saw a Middle Eastern Muslim man, a Muslim man on TV looking at the birth of his child and saying, look at him, he's compassionate, he's human. This is the only show. Yeah, we all don't agree with everything on the show. I don't care. It shows us in the real life. We have the Kim Kardashians of the world in our community, too. We have, we have the conservatives in our community, too. We have the liberals in our community, too. But that's what makes us beautiful as a country, as a nation. God bless America. And shame on Lowe's. I'm here today with all of you, our Christian brothers, our Muslim brothers and sisters, saying that today we should all commit ourselves that we need to deal with blows like a turtle and not like a rabbit. Right. And what I mean is, we ain't gonna come back out here again. That's right. We're gonna broaden our coalition, yeah. and we are going to boycott Lowe's until yeah. Lowe's makes things right. Boycott yeah. Lowe's. Lowe's. Boycott 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 Lowe's. As Sister Rashida said, there's a few hate mongers and a few people who are against diversity, who are against inclusion. That's right. That small group of people over there. But I want your morale to be high because the majority of the American society does not hate Muslims. They just need to know us better. And that is what the show All American Muslims is all about. That if we as American Muslims are seen by the broader American public, they're gonna love us. That's because we embody all of what America loves. We're for our family values. That's right. We're for public safety. That's right. We're for economic dignity. Yeah. We're for the rights of all people. That's what we stand for as Muslims. And that is what those bigots are scared of that yeah, the American yeah, public yeah. can see us for who we really are. Yeah. Yeah. We got, we need everybody. We got a special speaker. Listen up. Hold up, hold it up. We got a special speaker, guest speaker, all the way from Dearborn, Mission. <laughs> I want y'all to give it up, and I want y'all to go crazy for Muhammad Hamoud. Come on. <laughs> Yeah. Doesn't matter yes. what religion you are, God right. made us all the same exact way. Yes. We're all the same people. That's right. Yes. That's right, sweetheart. That's my neighbor. <laughs> we got our good friend from the Interfaith Council. 
Uh, Victor, well, we want to ask him to come and give us a few words. Come on, give a Victor a hand. Peace be upon you. Salam alaikum. If you have some of a Jewish friend, Shalom alaikum. Shalom alaikum. And I was driving down, I was thinking, I need some filters for my heater. I need some salt. I guess. We're not going to go to Lowe's for that, are we? Uh, hopefully, Lowe's corporate... Uh, see, we have support. They can see there are only few brigades are going to buy from them. And all of us are not. We're not going to buy from Lowe's, right? No buy! No buy! I want to thank Reverend William, William, Reverend Adams, yes. and others who also came when Terry Jones came to our. I, I shouldn't take his name. Uh, yeah, well, I, who, we, what? We are one who, community. <laughs> People say Detroit is the most segregated. They can see we're not. We're united against bigotry. We're united together for doing good. Thank you very much for coming. By the way, I want to tell you, Interfaith Leadership Council, one of the organizations I'm representing, is working every day. All the religious leaders, they come together for, for helping with the, with the needs of the community. And, and let us celebrate that we have a great community here. Thank you very much. Thank you. United we stand! 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 Divided we fall! Divided we stand! Divided we fall! United we stand! Divided we fall! United we stand! Divided we fall! We have with us a young man who has been fighting the good fight on the campus of University of Michigan, all around the state of Michigan and all around the country. We want to bring up our good friend Rashid Beydoun. Come on, give it up. Yeah. 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 It's kind of hard. Hi, I'm so like my brothers and sisters. It's kind of hard to. It's kind of hard to take the place. Right after Charles uh, Sr. He's and Charles uh, the second, Reverend Charles, they've been great to our community. They've stood in solidarity with our community because they too understand that injustice anywhere That's right. is a threat to justice everywhere. Yeah. Tell him, the late Dr. Right. King Tell said that. Injustice anywhere, injustice anywhere. anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. It's a threat to justice everywhere. And today, brothers and sisters, we are here to show the American public that we too love our civil liberties. That's right. That we too are Americans. That's right. And today we exercise those American rights, That's the First right. Amendment right, and our right to petition and protest. That's right. Thank you for being here. God bless America. And today we show Lowe's that we too are proud Americans. That's right. I want to bring to the, to, to the ladder one, one who has been a fighter for social justice. He is the executive pastor of the, one of the most historic churches and largest African-American churches in the country. We know his father, but to know his father is not to know the son. Why? Because the son has a Holy Ghost power. And his name is Pastor Charles Christian Adams from the historic Hartford Memorial Baptist Church. Come on, give it up. Come on. Come on. Peace be with you, my friend. Peace with you. We are so glad to have this protest, to have this pushback in the season that we celebrate peace. That's right. We believe as Christians that this season was announced with the words, peace 
honor and goodwill towards all. And all means all. Muslim Americans, African Americans, white Americans, Jewish Americans, all means honor and goodwill towards all. And we believe that this is a season that calls us to unity. Yes, sir. Because we are not strong alone. We are like a fist. One finger is not as strong as when the fingers come together. Oh, my That's right. Yeah. We believe that the forces that hold us together are stronger than the forces that threaten to pull us apart. That's right. We believe that if they come for you at midnight, Say that. they will come for us in, in the, the morning. morning. Yeah. We are one. Yes. We will pray as one. We will stay as one. Yeah. And bigotry will absolutely fail. That's right. Yeah. The Irish Americans, the Hispanic Americans, the African Americans, the Jewish brothers and sisters had to go through the same thing. That's right. This is just our turn. And we will overcome this. Yes, sir. We we'll make no doubt about it. We will no, overcome not. this. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, thank you all for coming. I'm not going to repeat what all the great leaders said before me. One thing simple and loud and clear, the action of laws is not going to slip by slightly, and we're going to continue our action. It's not about laws. It's about our American rich diversity. And together we're going to make it, hear it, make them hear it, make them hear it every day. Thank you. Thank you to Pastor Jones, because every time you stand against us, we stand together. Thank you to the big ants of Florida. Thank you for Lowe's for bringing us all together. That's right. That's right. Well, they say Islam are a violent people, that they're not a peaceful religion. Why? Because we're standing for our rights. They want you to stay home and take it the way they want. They want, they want you to be... You know, they used to call us slaves. 